What's going on everybody? It's Stock Fix by Tim and we are dealing with a blood red day, but this was already to be expected. Futures were pretty red and today is a great time to be a long-term investor. Now in this video, I'm going to go over a couple things to look out for for CleanSpark. We do have something approaching to watch out for. I'm also going to show you what I see on the chart and I'm also going to go over a great short that's already playing out but has another potential entry. So if you appreciate these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out the free links down below for some crypto and stocks and check out the Discord. I did mention the short I'm going to go into on the Discord and so far it's already played out pretty well but i do think it has a little bit more money to squeeze out of it but let's get into this video and start off with clean spark now first off if you didn't know clean spark just recently reached three exahash per day which is essentially three times what they were mining a year ago and also make sure you check out their giveaway they are giving out some free merch if you can answer their trivia question and don't forget guys that their mining updates usually come out anywhere from the third to the fifth so keep an eye on that we are going to get some answers in terms of what they're mining per day now they were recently at 13 bitcoin per day maybe because of the recent facility that was bought that's actually mining ready we might see a huge increase in exahash and so far we are right now over three exahash so that's great but the mining update is also going to tell us where or if they sold their Bitcoin I'm expecting that they did this is what they usually do they do sell a portion of what they mine but it's definitely going to be big to see what they sold and where they sold it at what they're currently doing and what they expect by the end of the year and stick around because I will be covering their mining update right when it drops now looking at CleanSpark here on the chart you'll see we are in this long long downtrend ever since 2021 in January now it is currently writing this ascending support but if it fails we could break four and come down a little further however if we do bounce from here it'll be a nice confirmation that this support is holding and similar to Bitcoin I do expect clean spark to have some sort of a potential break out or break down by mid-September. We're either going to break this ascending support or we're going to break this downtrend and in fact have our downtrend reversal. But I do think clean spark is great for a DCA right here. And I did put out a recent mining video and of that list of miners, CleanSpark was among the best. They have the best price to sales, a great price to book, some of the smallest debt compared to some of the other miners, but also compared to Mara and Riot and some others, they do have a smaller amount of Bitcoin on their balance sheet, but they have been using this to grow their exahash. So I do think that when we get into this next bull run, CleanSpark will be sitting very nice at a much higher exahash than they would be otherwise. And I think this will be beneficial to them in the end, because otherwise, what would all that Bitcoin be doing while it's sitting on their balance sheet over the last six months or so even, you know, Bitcoin is pretty much the same on the chart as this all that bitcoin they'd be holding would be losing value just like all the other miners that are holding it but of course it probably will pay out in the end once bitcoin does go on that rally now some of the bitcoin that these miners have could of course double up triple up quadruple up as we get into a bull run and that might hurt clean spark just being that they don't have as much of a bitcoin balance but you have to consider thanks to their growth by using the bitcoin selling the bitcoin that they've mined they're able to grow at a faster rate. They're able to mine even more Bitcoin in the future. And I do like this strategy through a bear market. And I think it will continue to help them and will keep them from diluting us and raising more debt as well. But let me know what you think about CleanSpark down below. And I did want to get into this NVIDIA put. We are playing a breakdown and it has been breaking down. Now I got another level for you to watch out for. We've got some recent news that the government's trying to uh, restrict their sales to China. That's definitely hurting NVIDIA. But if you look on the chart, it has been in a pretty clear downtrend for a while now. But let's look at it and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Now, first off, you might be surprised, but NVIDIA has actually been in a downtrend since November 2021. And you'll see this blue clear channel, this descending channel. Very likely we continue. Now you'll notice this red line here. This was a recent breakdown. We broke this level here, this 140. This 140 area, once we broke that, I did call that we are going to come towards 135 or so. 136 and that's when i'd enter with another short on the break of 135 if we do break 135 it's very likely we come down to our next level of support another psychological number 130. now i personally would want to see this try to develop some support here before breaking so that the rsi can reset it is a bit oversold because if we do continue breaking down you're not going to get much meat left on the bone it's already been dropping pretty hard today i honestly do want to see it bounce and then go in tomorrow if we do have another red day of course we could bounce find this as a resistance or just break out of it and try to hold it as support you have to play with the chart the chart can of course change and then you have to change your strategy but i do think nvidia is a great short right under 135 and it's very likely that if it breaks 135 you could definitely scalp it even down towards 133 132 but i do see 130 as the next level of support after breaking 135 for obvious reasons it's just a psychological number and we do have some points where we kind of bounce in that area and the 129 130 area so i do think that area will find some support here but upon a break of 135 i think it'd be an easy short get in get out get some quick money same with this 140 and there's another great thing to think about you know if you are too bullish on the stock market if you don't have any hedges if you don't have any put positions buy some puts on on things you see great potential opportunities to break to the downside you don't have to always just play the stock market in one direction on a bullish direction and sometimes stocks like these 
could be a great hedge as tech continues down, as risk on assets continue down. It's very likely Nvidia will also continue farther down. And this can protect our portfolios and free up some capital that you can put into your more bullish positions meant for the long term. But let me know how you guys feel about Nvidia. Are you bullish? Are you bearish? Looking at the chart, it does look like we're gonna fall more. Keep an eye on that 135 level. If we break it, we fall further. But do keep an eye on the RSI because things are quickly becoming oversold. So what I really wanna see if I'm gonna play this is a little bounce and then a failure because that will slightly reset the RSI and give it some room to run. But let me know if you guys plan on playing this trade. Let me know if you're in clean spark or not and what are you doing in this blood red day in the market. And thanks as always guys for watching and take it easy.